Welcome to Choice Classic Radio. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and help keep this show alive by donating at choiceclassicradio.com. For more of your favorite old-time radio shows, join us on our companion podcast, Choice Classic Radio Detectives, where we bring to you tales from the greatest detective shows the golden age of radio had to offer. And now, with 91 surviving episodes broadcast on NBC Radio from 1934 to 1957, we bring to you Lights Out. Lights out, everybody. Twenty is eighty, and twenty is one hundred. Perfectly correct. One hundred dollars rental for two months. And now, uh, with the matter of a receipt, of course. If you don't mind. Not at all. Not at all, Mr. Cook. Do business in a business-like way is my motto. We aren't a very large firm, but service supreme is our motto. Uh, now, what did I do with my receipt book? So careless of me. In this pocket? No. Oh, any old piece of paper will do. No, 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 no. Here we are. I had it in this pocket all the time. I'll just sit down over there and write it out for you. Well, darling? Well, Chuck is simply unbelievable. Fifty bucks a month for a furnished Grand Central Palace like this one. <laughs> Beautiful? There's something wrong in the woodpile someplace. Well, do you really think so? Oh, of course not. I'm only kidding. Oh, well, this old house seems to chill me somehow. It's so full of shadows. Oh, nonsense. You're letting the storm outside affect you. You were always afraid of lightning, you know. There was a blinding flash just as we came in the drive. It illuminated the whole house. It seemed to glower at us. Yes, he made himself right at home pretty quick, didn't he? <laughs> to check his papa. What? Now, that's libel. I never curled up on a strange sofa. What? Uh, without at least three drinks and a proper introduction. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's oh, it. Oh, quiet. Here comes service to print. Yeah. Uh, here we are, folks. Money received, right and proper. <clears throat> I, I, uh, I hope you'll be quite satisfied here. Uh, quite. Oh, I'm sure we will be. As you can see, our little boy has made himself at home already. Uh, cute little fellow. Uh, I do hope he'll be quite all right. Uh, <clears throat> well, I, I must be getting along. Business, you know. Uh, moving in at once, aren't you? Well, we planned to... Yes, 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 yes. You, you told me you were. Well, uh, good luck and uh, uh, goodbye, Mrs. Cook. Uh, Mr. Cook. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. Well, <laughs> wasn't he in a hurry to get out? Service supreme until the minute the rent paid, and then it's exit extraordinary. Hmm. <laughs> well, I better go get the things in out of the car. Gosh, dear, I never thought we'd spend the summer in a mid-Victorian mansion, did you? Huh? Dear, I'm talking to you. Hmm? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Why the pensive look? What are you thinking about? Of what that, that man said. What man? Oh, you mean Service Supreme, huh? Yes. Well, what pearl of wisdom did he spout? Well, remember when he looked at Billy sleeping there? 
Yeah? He said, I do hope he'll be all right. Yeah, so he did. So what? In the way he said it. <laughs> oh, uh, go on. Say, you, you'll have to get some help in to clean up this place. Looks like my fraternity house used to after we threw a dance. Chuck! Huh? What are you staring at? Huh? What are What's you a... doing in here? Hey. Oh, boy. Fella, you startled us. <sighs> what are you doing in here? Hey, Chuck, he must be the caretaker the real estate man told us about. Oh, yeah, sure. You answer me. What are you doing here? It's answer me. Hey, Chuck, what's the matter with that man? Hey, look here, old boy. You don't have to throw any cat fits. We rented this place from Service Supreme. I mean, uh, what's his name, Mr. Hawkins, that real estate man up in town. Rented? Hey, sure. Here's a receipt. A hundred bucks for the next two months. Two months? Yeah, yeah, I know it isn't much, but it's all a fellow wanted, and so it's all he got. Of course, with all due respect to you, caretaker, uh, you are the caretaker, aren't you? Yes. I. Huh? Oh, good. Then I can speak freely. Uh, as I was saying, the rental doesn't seem like much, but after all, big as it is, it's a pretty crummy old place. Chuck. Well, it is. That real estate fella said there hadn't been anyone living here regularly for 20 years since these people, uh, what's the name, all died. Reynolds. Huh? What'd you say? What did he say, Anne? I don't know, but he frightens me. Reynolds. Mr. and Mrs. And Paula. Oh, Reynolds. Yeah, they're the people that lived here, aren't they? Mr. Who's this real estate said something about... Get out of here. Huh? Get out of here. Chuck. You hear me? Now, Get wait out. a minute. Out. Wait a minute. Get out. Get out. You no, don't belong no. here. We rented no. this place. No and one belongs here. No one. And then not mine. Stop waving your mine. hands around. Twenty oh, years, mine. Stop it. Will get you? out. Get out. Say what? Yeah. Is this? You all get out. All of you. This place is mine. Oh, Chuck, mine. Stop. Boy, you wake up, Billy. Wake up, Billy. Wake up, Billy. He's making up. Yeah. Get out. My hand. Forget. It's mine. Nobody can come in here. Chuck, he's sick. Nobody. Catch him. Get out. Hey, wait. Holy. Say. What for? Brace up, old boy. Oh, Chuck, he's not. No, he's just passed out, I guess. I wonder where some water is. we got to... Uh, oh, he's coming, too. Uh, Holy smoke. I, uh, I thought he popped a valve or something the way he was blowing off. Here, give me a hand. We'll put him up on the other uh, sofa. Uh, uh, Here you are. Uh, come on. Take the hands off me. What? Take your hands off me. Oh, now, look. Uh, Here, we just want to help you. Uh, your hands. Your hands. Chuck, help him get out. No! Here, let me get you to a chair, you... No. No. I am all right. I... I will live longer than anybody. You... You will have to get out. You... You will have to get out. No one must stay here. Hey, no you. one. Get out. Hey, Get out. Now, wait a minute. Well, can you imagine that old duck? Running off like that. <laughs> boy, oh boy, did we get a bargain. A house and entertainment by a crack nut off of 50 a month. Well, but why would he be so furious? Don't ask me. I'm no psychiatrist. Oh, well, let's not let old crackpot spoil things. I'll slip him a few bucks in the morning and he'll be all right. Now, uh, let's wake that snoozing uh, son of ours. Look, huh? he is awake. Why? <laughs> you little rascal, you. How long have you been sitting there watching, young man, huh? A long time. Where are we, Dad? I'll tell you, belly boy. We're in a great, big, beautiful house. Well, you and I and Father are going to have a good time for the next two months. <laughs> Isn't that good news? Well, why don't you answer your mother, Billy? Aren't you glad we're going to be staying here in the country? Dad. Yes, son? Please, let's get out of here. I'm awful scared. <laughs> I wonder 
Where's the street now? Yeah. Uh, I'll go see. Be very quiet, Chuck. Yeah, yeah, I will. Well? <laughs> Like a regular chair. Oh, well, Chuck, keep your voice down. Oh, that air of ours that sleeping's so sound it takes Susan's band to wake him up. Mm, maybe we should have let him sleep with us this one night. And have him grow up into a lily that falls over at the sight of his own shadow? <laughs> I know, Mrs. Cook. He sleeps in that room and likes it. Anyway, he's deep in sleep, so that's that. Uh, uh. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Stretching out feels good. Uh, it's going to take at least two bands to wake me up tonight. Hmm. You lock all the doors? Mm-hmm. And the windows? Yeah. Are you sure? No. Oh, now listen, honey. Please tell me. I am telling you. This house is locked up tighter than a hoose gal. Shutters? Doors. Everything. I tell you, if that crazy old coot decides to come back to continue his oration, he'll have to use a hacksaw to get in. I wish it was morning. Hmm? Well, you could sort of straighten things out with him. After all, he is the caretaker. Oh, forget it. We rented the place from the regular agent. And if the old boy doesn't like it, well, it's just too bad. Now, uh, let's go to sleep, huh? Um, but, Chuck... Oh, Anne. But I want to know. Hmm. What? Well, why should he have gotten so excited? It's been worrying me. Oh, I don't know. Maybe because he thinks we'll mean more work. Twenty years alone. Huh? What'd you say? Oh, I was just wondering why this place hasn't been rented or sold all these years. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Chuck, could it be? What? Oh, nothing. Say, are you thinking of... Oh, that's nonsense. Is it? Why, sure. Just because a house is big and old and hasn't been lived in for a long time doesn't mean that... Oh, I tell you that storybook stuff. Chuck. Huh? Why did Billy say that he was frightened? Oh, he's just a little kid. Well... Isn't it possible that young children are, are closer? To what? To things that aren't of this world. Huh? And Well, I was just thinking. Well, not thinking things like that. Of all the screwy ideas to get in the middle of the night in the middle of nowhere. Uh, now, come on. Go to sleep before you give me the jitters, too. Save the ghost talk for tomorrow morning when the sun's shining. It's a little dark and dismal, weird right now to be talking about... Now? Yes. 
Chuck, did we really hear it? I felt the floor vibrating. Like it does when the organ plays in church. <laughs> yeah. He's all right. Billy. Oh, Mom, Dad. Billy. Darling, why were you laughing like that? Why, Billy? Oh, because I've been having fun. Gosh, lots of fun. Oh, a dream, son, huh? You mean you've been having a funny dream? Gosh, no. Not a dream. Isn't my dad funny, old lady? Oh, lady. Huh? Who? Who did you say that to, Billy? She wants me to go downstairs with her to listen to the music. Music? But I told her I couldn't go. Not unless you said I could go. Can I, Mom? Can I go? Go. Go where, Billy? Where? Downstairs, like I told you. With her. Billy, listen to me. Who are you talking about? Son. And see your mother. Who are you talking about? Yes, and why are you staring at the foot of the bed? What are you looking at? The old lady, Dad. Don't you see her sitting there? Who's lady? Son. Son. Can't you see her? Funny old lady. You can kind of see right through her. Kind of a wind blowing in from someplace. You should have stayed upstairs. No, no, where... I couldn't stay upstairs in this horrible bedroom. All, right. All right, don't get upset again. Here we three are, and here we stay until daylight. Oh, won't it ever get light again? Oh, no, honey. Just a few more hours. <laughs> Gosh, kids are wonderful. What? Billy. Look at him there. Asleep as if nothing had happened. Hmm. He doesn't know anything did. No, lucky kid. Ah, uh, you just wait until that old son starts doing his stuff. And I'm going to turn this house upside down until I find out what's been bothering you. Chuck, wait. Huh? Did you hear something? I don't know. I, I thought I heard something sighing as if... That horrible music again. It's here. An organ right in this room. Oh, Mother in heaven, where's it coming from? I don't where? know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I can't stand it, Chuck. I can't. Make oh, them please, stop it. Please, please. Organs playing please music. There's yourself. no one here. It can't no, be played. Stop it. Stop playing that. Stop playing that. There, there. He's up. Yes, silly boy. Yes, what is it? That funny music. Where's it coming from, Mama? I don't know. But Mama. It's all right, it's all right son. Nothing's going to harm us. Here. Um, come in. That's the boy. Your arm's close around me. Oh, did they ever stop? No daylight ever come. I wish we wasn't here. Chuck. Hmm? It's getting darker. Oh, it's, it's all right. Just the, the dark before the dawn. You know. Dad, it seems to be getting lighter. <sighs> and the music's dying away. Yeah. Light. Oh, what a funny light. Anne, is there something wrong with my eyes? No. I see it, too. Do you? The wall over there. A light. It's green, isn't it? Growing on it. Oh, Chuck, I'm afraid. we got to get out of here quick. Yes. No, 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 wait. 
That wall. The green light's gone through it. Beyond it. There's a room there now. A room. Yes. Yes, I see it too. Oh, it's chocolate madness, is this? Mommy, what are you afraid of? Anne, there's someone sitting in that room. In the green light. Yes. It's a... It's a girl. I see you so clearly. And yet, somehow it isn't real, is it? Look at the way she's dressed. So strangely. So clear. And yet it's more like a picture on the wall. Not deep. The flatness of a picture. Chuck, look. There's a man coming into that horrible light. By George. It's him. What? Don't you recognize him? The old caretaker. Uh, yes. Yeah. But now he isn't so old. Get me out of here. No, 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 wait. We don't dare go. Not yet. Pictures on the wall. And yet not pictures. He's going closer to her. Yeah. I see it. Hello, Paula. God in heaven, he's talking. And yet he hasn't flesh. I know he hasn't. <gasps> oh, it's you, Mr. Elberton. She speaks, too. Pictures talking, is it? Am I nuts? Yeah, Paula. I wanted to talk to you. But you know, Mr. Elberton, Mother doesn't like to have me talk with you. Because I'm a simple man, eh? A gardener. A servant. Oh, Chuck. Don't talk. Whatever the reason, Mr. Elberton, you shouldn't come here when Mother's away. It isn't right. Your mother. Mr. Elberton. Yeah, your mother. I've got nothing, so I'm not good enough, eh? Please go. Your father. He promised me, before he died, he promised me in his will, he gave me money. Plenty money for all I did for him. Well, I'm sorry he didn't leave it to you. Ah, uh, you mother, though. Don't blame her. It wasn't her fault. It wasn't in the will. How could she give it to you? Your father, he promised me. Mr. Reynolds, he promised Reynolds. me. They're the people that own this house. But Mr. Hawkins said they've all been, been dead for 20 years. It's no use, Mr. Robinson, talking about that again and again. Please go. Oh, you drive me out too, eh? Oh, no. Please don't talk like that. <laughs> if I had money, the money your father promised me, you wouldn't tell me to go, would you? Maybe you would love me, huh? Marry me, eh? Don't look at me like that. You frightened me. <laughs> that you could love me anyway, Paula Reynolds. I make you love me. No. <laughs> make no. you no. love me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. You love me. I make you love me. You make you love me. You are me You love me. 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 What have we seen, Chuck? What? Wait. The light. It's coming back. But don't look, Billy boy. Here, darling. Put your head against Mother. And look. He's killed her. Oh, Chuck. Standing over her. That horrible look on his face. Chuck. Another woman's coming in. The mother. He's turning toward her. Chuck, he's going to kill her. I can't move. I want to scream. I can't. <coughs> Do something, Chuck. He's killing the mother. Killing her. What can I do? I'm rooted here. I can't move. Gone. The 
light goes. And they go with it. But we saw him kill them both. Mother and daughter. Billy. Billy didn't see. No. No, he buried his head against me so tightly. Why, Chuck. What's the matter? Billy's asleep. Asleep? Yes. So quietly against me. Well, it is as if someone out there didn't want him to see that horror. Only you and I. Well, it is as if someone out there didn't want him to see that horror. Only you and I. Chuck, what was it that we saw? What? Whatever it was, I'm getting out of here quick. Give me the boy. Wait. <gasps> what? what? The old man. The one we just saw. The one you just saw what? You. You killed him. How and why, I don't quite understand, but we saw you kill the mother and daughter. Oh, you know. Was it real? What did we see? Yes. I killed them both. Oh, yes. I killed them. And why not? The one gave me no love. The old one, no money. He promised me. He promised me. But when he died, they gave me nothing. He uh, killed him. Yes, yes, killed him. With my own hands, I killed him. Stop the police. Yes. Oh. No. No police. There were no police then. There will be no police now. But murder two women. They know. I know. And now, you know. No one else will ever. What? What do you mean? You. You hear? They understand. That's what I've always wanted. Yeah. Night after night. Now, you know why I didn't want you here. Now, you know. Why, I must kill you. Kill? That gun. Yes, with the gun. Him, 20 years ago with my hand. Why, well, you're crazy. You with no. the gun. No, I'm going to kill you. Yeah, I'm going to kill you. As if someone... I saw. Billy, is, is he... Oh. oh. Still sleeping. Sleeping? Through all that... <laughs> Blessed sleep. And there was playing. And the women. Two women sitting at the keyboard. No, no, Chuck, don't go any closer. Oh, no. Chuck, what is it? No. No, I was wrong, Ann. Well? Not women. Not anymore. Two skeletons. Oh. In dresses. Uh, no. Yeah. I understand everything now. He killed them 20 years ago. And then walled up their bodies in there with the organ. But what we saw, the music, how could it? And look. It's crumbling. Bones into dust. Huh. He's dead. Now they can have peace. (laughs) 
Lights Out, written especially for radio by Arch Oberler, comes to you each Wednesday from our Chicago studios. This is the National Broadcasting Company. You are listening to WMAQ, the Chicago Daily News Station. That concludes today's episode. We'd like to thank you and remind you to donate at choiceclassicradio.com. Remember, your donations make episodes like this possible.